right. Am I too close to the mic? This is too loud? No, Okay, good. Uh, so, hi. My name is Shelby Neely. I'm from Millard South. War Keeper! Uh, this is kind of a trigger warning in that this poem is just an absolute bummer. So if you don't, if you don't want that, you can go. It's okay. I won't care. I won't get angry. All right. This is my poem, Self-Reflection. How are you with conversation? When your mom's friends come up to you and ask how you're doing, about your plans for college, if you've gotten any scholarships, why you've been so weird recently, so distant. Distance is weird, isn't it? The few inches between you and others can stretch to miles when you don't watch your mouth. Because if you don't make an effort, if you don't think about it, you're mean, aren't you? And you were mean to him, and it was the last time you ever spoke. And you can't tell if you blame yourself, can you? Because you didn't know him. You didn't recognize him by name, it took a photo. And you coped by laughing. And we can call it coping, but you thought it was funny. And I truly think you must be the only person still crying about a dead man, a dead boy, that you did not know. Another casualty of yourself. And would you be grieving if you did not feel guilty? Because it was supposed to be fine, wasn't it? You told the trusted adults, we told the trusted adults, we all told the trusted adults, and they said it would be fine. Because when they quoted him in the newspaper, he said it was just hard to be alive. And no one did anything. Because they said he would be fine. Because no one knows Icarus until he falls. Because Icarus doesn't exist until he falls. But to call Alex Icarus is to blame it. To say that he was doomed. Because Alex had a chance. Alex had a chance. He could have done it. And it's awful, isn't it? that it took a dead boy for you to want to be alive. It took someone else's mistakes. It took missed eye contact with a dead body with all of its piercings taken out for you to want to be alive. And awkward glances at your friend's eyes feel weird now. And awkward ignorance feels weird now. And it took lack of empathy for you to feel it. And misery for me to feel happy, so how are you with silence? I'm not very good. <laughs>